Will the Fed cut rates three times this year? Will Kamala say the word inflation three or more times during her DNC acceptance speech in a few hours? Will Beyonce make a surprise appearance or will it perhaps be a Taylor Swift? These are all bets that you can make on Polymarket, the world's largest prediction market, which allows you to place trades on the world's highly debated topics like politics, economic events, uh, pop culture, and, and other news-related events. Now, uh, why is this interesting to me? Well, it's been showing up in my feed a lot lately since I pay attention to the financial news. Um, everything from the uh, shifting presidential forecast when Biden dropped out and Kamala Harris was a replacement to the Trump assassination. This has not only been mentioned on X and Twitter, it's been mentioned on publications like Forbes, Slate, uh, investing.com, and, and I've recently noticed that Polymarket raised a $45 million round from uh, Peter Thiel and other investors. And Polymarket even recently hired Nate Silver, the author of this book that just came out and well known from 538 a while back. Uh, he's making the podcast rounds lately talking about the subject of taking calculated risk. Now, why else is this interesting to me? Well, uh, despite uh, all this coverage that I'm seeing lately, uh, no one's really been talking about the underlying data. I haven't seen any uh, software engineers or data scientists out there that are on YouTube that are looking uh, at this data that you that is publicly available. There's a Polymarket API where you can see all the orders and trades coming in. You can look at the historical data. You can programmatically place a trade all via Python code, right? here. And so what I thought I would do in this upcoming series is start talking about uh, prediction markets. And so I've been collaborating on this project with a friend that shares that interest. And we're going to be discussing Polymarket as well as other markets like Kaoshi and Interactive Brokers Forecast Trader to compare and contrast all of these different prediction markets, uh, what types of bets or contracts are available on each market, uh, what are the odds between them, how do you get data from each of them, can you place a trade? Uh, on each of them? What are the data sets you can explore to maybe uh, find uh, some information that might help you uh, place a trade? Um, and just looking at this underlying data and how it evolves uh, in real time, for instance, at the Democratic National Convention tonight, can I stream WebSocket data and see those odds changing over time and people making various predictions? And so what I'm gonna be doing is walking you through a couple of Python notebooks here to start uh, with um, an event that is occurring right now, which is the Democratic National Convention. And I can stream that on YouTube and observe uh, how all these things are evolving. And so I did this yesterday uh, when Bill Clinton and Nancy Pelosi uh, gave their speeches and kind of counted up, uh, watch, observed the market action um, in the code here uh, whenever Bill Clinton was speaking and how it behaved, you know, when there were people are betting on whether he was going to say the word Hillary. And you can kind of see where that spikes up uh, in real time. I thought Hillary gave a great speech, too. Can I transcribe that or predict he's gonna say that? I'm thinking about all these questions, um, but there's also some delay in live streams. Um, what do the odds look like on Kaushi versus Polymarket? There's an infinite number. How does one contract affect the other? Um, all, all these different events raise millions of questions in my head, but we have to start uh, somewhere. And so what I wanna start out with is just learning how to use the Polymarket API to get all the available events and markets um, that you can uh, place trades on. And I also want to show how to stream all this data in real time. So you can see I'm doing this uh, right now with the election. And so this is graphing in real time all the different uh, trades um, that are occurring right now, the trade count and the volume on the election odds. And I'll walk you through uh, how to use WebSockets uh, in this context. And also, you know, I have various other things I'm exploring right now, such as Fed rate cuts, how economic releases might affect these odds. And there's also some interesting repositories I'm noticing out there that are starting to appear around uh, this uh, Polymarket Market Maker uh, bot here and also Polymarket Agents here for the uh, AI folks. This came out like a week ago. All right, enough talk. Let's go ahead and get into some code. I'm sharing this as a collab notebook so that you can follow along if you would like. Uh, so I'm gonna walk you through what I'm seeing in the Polymarket API so far. And so the first thing we wanna do is get some event and market data. And first of all, understand what an event and a market is even is in this context. So uh, the first thing we need to know is that there's a uh, Polymarket API. It's at docs.polymarket.com. And you'll see there's this order book API right here. And there's also what's called this Gamma Markets API. Now, the first thing that we're gonna look at is this Gamma Markets API. We're not gonna place 
uh, any orders right now. And what this API does is allow you to get uh, the structure of all of these events and markets. And this walks you through a description of uh, how is Polymarket organized. So when you're on uh, this screen here, there's a, a lot of different uh, bets going on. And so this, what will Kamala Harris say during the DNC acceptance speech? This is called an event. And then all of these individual bets under here with the yes and no's, these are considered uh, markets. And so what we can do first of all is use uh, this API here, gamma API uh, polymarket.com to retrieve all of the markets and all of the events. And so since um, an event is a set of markets, let's just fetch all of the events first. And this is very easy to do. Um, and so in our, in our case here, uh, we're looking at this, what will Kamala say during her acceptance speech? And this is uh, streaming right now, by the way, on YouTube. Um, event is set of markets. So the event is what will Kamala Harris say during the acceptance speech? And then grouped under that event is a variety of different markets. So is she gonna say, we're not going back, yes or no? Is she gonna say ceasefire, joy, inflation, Donald Trump five times? Is she gonna talk about the monkeypox, right? And so there's all of these different markets under this event. And there's also some events that only have like one market underneath them. So will Beyonce attend the DNC and will Taylor Swift attend the DNC? And so look, we have these API endpoints. And so first I wanna get the events, right? And so if I look down here at events, I hit my gamma endpoint slash events, and then I can filter down these events too. So there's lots of events on here and you probably don't want all of them. You want to filter by uh, ones that are currently open that have actual markets under them that are active and you might wanna filter them by a tag. So all the events associated with the DNC. And so we have um, the uh, Kamala Harris one right here, but if I search DNC, so I could use my API to find all these DNC related events. Um, and then this Kamala Harris one is the event we're interested in and we wanna figure out how to fetch all of these markets that are below that, okay? So in my notebook here, you see we're just importing the Python request library. We've used it a million times on this channel. And so what I'm doing is uh, requesting gamma API polymarket.com slash events. And then I wanna filter out um, any markets that are already closed. I want things that are active right now. Otherwise I'm looking at, at old information that doesn't have any current active bets. So the DNC from yesterday, for instance. And so you see when I run that, I get this huge list of events in JSON format. And you know, this is just a big dump of all of the events that are currently active. And so you see here, I have an event ID and then a question. And then this one's, will Joker 2 gross the most in 2024? So people are betting on, um, the gross revenue from a new movie that's going to come out, right? Um, so I'm not interested in that. You know, depending on your interest, you might be interested in sports or news. Uh, you might want to filter this down. And so in this case, I'm aware of this Democratic National Convention uh, bet. So what I want to do is take this list that came back, this JSON format, and I want to filter it down to just uh, the questions that have a comma in the name. So if you scroll down here in the notebook, I'm gonna filter on events containing a comma. And so what I'm gonna do, since I got response, I'm gonna loop through all of the events in there. So loop through the response. And I'm just gonna say, if Kamala is in the event's title, then let's print the event. And so if I run that, you're gonna see that we get uh, three different um, active events here. Uh, will Kamala Harris get replaced at, as the nominee at the DNC? Very unlikely, right? Uh, what will she say during the acceptance speech? That's the one we're most we're interested in right now. And then there's the, uh, will Kamala drop out in August, which is a very unlikely event as well. But you know, if you know something, you know, the upside is very high there. So now we have the event, what will Kamala say at the acceptance speech? And we have an ID for that event. Now under that event, there are various markets. And so if I scroll across here, you'll see this structure actually has a lot of information in it. It says when the bit close, uh, information about the comments, order book, um, right? And then you see this one, will Kamala Harris say couch? during the DNC speech, and you'll see this key called markets. And so in the event, they have nested all of the markets. And so what I did here is create a dictionary, Kamala events. And what I'm doing is making the key, the event ID, and then storing the event right there. So uh, I'm getting all the Kamala events. So we can see here is I'm getting markets for this event. I know the ID of the event is 12088 and I'm printing all the markets. And now you see we have a new list. Will Kamala say couch during the DNC speech? Uh, there's different outcomes and lots of data about how this bet is resolved and the current odds, tags, and things like that. And then you scroll down further, you'll see, will Kamala Harris say coconut during the DNC speech? And they're all listed out like that, right? Uh, so this is a lot of information. I don't want all of this right now. What I want is just the various questions and the current yes, no prices. And so what I can do is loop through all those markets. So I'm gonna do for market 
in, uh, in this dictionary, 1208 markets. And then what I'm gonna do is if um, there's outcome prices in this dictionary and there are these tokens in this dictionary, I'm going to print it out. So these are the ones that I can uh, buy a yes or no contract for. And so you can see when I look at this now, you see uh, inflation during the speech, uh, high probability there, so 62% chance. And so I could buy it for 62 cents and then it pays out a dollar if she actually says inflation during the speech um, and then unburden, et cetera, et cetera, project 205 uh, and so forth. And so uh, on the left side, you see the, uh, the price for the yes contract. And then on the right side, you see the price for the no contract. And then you see I'm printing these token IDs. And so there's a crypto and blockchain element uh, to this particular market. Uh, Kaoshi and uh, the forecast trader of Interactive Brokers do not have the crypto aspect of it. Um, and so I'll talk about those in a future video for people that are turned off by uh, crypto related projects. But underneath the hood, there's information stored on the blockchain here. There's this element of transparency and so forth. Uh, so you actually have to have a wallet in order to make trades um, on uh, this particular market. And so I'm gonna look at this and get some particular tokens that I find interesting. Let's just do an easy one that would have bets uh, Donald or Trump five or more times during the DNC speech. You can see there's currently assigned a high probability to her doing that. And so what I can do is grab uh, this yes token right here. And what I do is have another notebook here for the uh, yes and no tokens. And so I can plug those in here, right? So I have the Kamala Trump yes token and the Kamala Trump no token right there. Um, so I have those assigned to a variable. And what I'm gonna do is use the WebSockets uh, API. And so if I go over here, you'll see um, under the order book API, there is a WebSocket API right here. Um, so you can actually subscribe to a WebSocket that's showing these uh, orders happen in real time. And so what you do here is you connect to that WebSocket. So that WebSocket is right here, uh, wssubscriptions or cloud.polymarket.com and I could subscribe, right? So uh, with the Python WebSockets library here, uh, first of all, I need to install the Python WebSocket uh, client here, okay? And then once I do that, I'm connecting the WebSocket and then I'm gonna send a message saying, I wanna subscribe to these assets here, so these tokens. So Trump win elect, or I don't want Trump win election yet, I did that earlier. So I'm gonna do uh, Kamala uh, Trump yes token and then Kamala Trump no token, right? And so if I do this, Kamala uh, Trump no token, just like that, I'm gonna send the message. And then after I send that message, I can start receiving WebSocket data uh, about this trade. And then in order to keep the connection open, uh, there's this whole sending Pong back if after a certain amount of time. So you need to say that, that you're still there. And so when I run this, you'll see I'll start to, to get um, some data. And so if you look at this on the web interface, any of this data that's on the web interface, you can technically uh, collect and process it for yourself. And so you can see the Donald Trump five type uh, five times bet right here. Uh, you can see the order book with the bids and ask here, and you can see the graph of how uh, this uh, particular particular prediction uh, looked over time. So not only can we look at the history here, we can see all of this start to change in real time. And these will get, as soon as this uh, live stream uh, kicks off, so if I go to uh, YouTube right now, and so this stream is actually going on right now. Uh, so the DNC is is starting, everyone's dancing, whatever. But pretty, pretty soon there's gonna be um, some speeches and you'll see as soon as Kamala starts to speak or as soon as uh, things get closer, a lot of these bets are going to uh, start to come in. Um, if you see, if you look at something like uh, Trump won election yes, election yes, and then Trump won election no. So if you look at these instead, uh, you'll see a lot more. This will be one of the highest uh, volume uh, web sockets right here. Um, so they'll they'll probably be uh, tons of trades start uh, coming in right here. And so yeah, that's pretty much what I want to show for now. Uh, I want to get more advanced, but uh, this is a good introduction to uh, poly market prediction markets and why I find them interesting and just an introduction to a few uh, neat things that you might be able to do with it. Uh, I have tons of notebooks filled up where um, I graph this stuff over time, transcribe speeches with uh, Whisper, um, uh, look at economic data, various uh, FRED and BLS data and things like that. And so, um, yeah, so if you're interested in this, um, I'm actually uh, working with a friend 
Uh, FriendTrack.ai is the name of a site that we're going to uh, publish with tons of financial data, whether it's uh, equities, uh, crypto, prediction markets, maybe even sports, who knows where it'll go. Uh, yeah, I'll link this below if you want to uh, see what we're building uh, in this area. I find all of this super interesting, so hopefully you do too. I'm curious, are you interested in poly market and prediction markets and content like this? Because a little bit uh, unusual area. Some people find it fascinating. Some people are like, why, why would you bet on these sort of things or care about the data behind this? So yeah, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Do you want to hear more about it? Um, yeah. And stay tuned. I'm going to publish, uh, some more videos on this topic in the very near future leading up to the fed interest rate cut decision. Thanks a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.